All right, so today I just want to spend a couple of minutes talking about something that some uh, a lot of people have actually been been asking me in the chat on the live stream, or I've been sending messages about, um, and just something that I have to go over quite a bit um, in the stream. And that's what what are important stats for an Archon Wizard? Um, you know, how to build your gear, um, what stats you're looking for, what gear you're looking for if you're on a budget build, uh, and that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go over um, really simply go over my gear and then I'm gonna tell you what stats you want to look for and then alternatives for for gear if you're on a budget so uh, let's just go for it um, alright so here's my gear uh, you can see it here we're gonna just go piece by piece starting from the top and of course um, if, uh, if if the piece of equipment is really expensive I'll, uh, I'll uh, let you know some alternatives for a budget build so okay I'm using a mempo um, this is kind of uh, you know, if you guys know, crit mempos are very, very expensive. Um, they're they're probably the best DPS for Archon, but just by a little bit. Um, honestly, as a four crit mempo isn't that much better DPS than a uh, super high int uh, uh, six crits Talrasha's uh, guy's wisdom. So, um, if you can't afford a mempo, um, you know you're looking at at least 100, 150 million for a mempo. If you can't afford one, definitely go with the Talrasha's guys of wisdom. Um, they have really, really high ints on them. They've got, uh, you know, anywhere between 220, 280 ints. They can get to a really, really high ints roll. Um, if you're on a budget, just lower the int a bit. Uh, they have, you know, 10, 11, 12% life. They've got a socket. Um, and uh, they're really, really good for, for a budget Archon set. There's, there are tons of DPS. Um, so definitely go with that. The shoulders, I'm using Vile Wards. Uh, vile words aren't too expensive. If you're going with a super budget set, I think the cheapest vile words on the auction house are a couple million. Um, so if you're going with like a super budget set, just go with some rare shoulders. You're gonna have to really lower the int on them a lot. So we're gonna have to go with like 170, 180 int. But if you can afford vile words, they're they're probably the best shoulders until you can get some crafted shoulders that are really nice. Again, uh, vile words don't have anything too crazy on them. Just really high int get a decent vitality roll and of course they you know nothing else really matters that much you know I have a little tiny bit of strength just for some armor because it was kind of the trash roll so those are those are the vile awards there alright and then the chest armor um, again the chest armor uh, Tal Rasha's relentless pursuit is really good uh, it's a it's a bit more expensive of course uh, it's got a really high int roll really high vitality roll you can you know go up to 270 280 vitality even higher if you go really expensive uh, three sockets and, and of course the attack speed roll. Uh, the attack speed roll isn't too important. Um, if you if you're going with a budget build, you could just go with any rare armor and just get a decent int, to decent vitality sockets and all that stuff. But if you have the money, uh, the tall rushes is probably best in terms of DPS. Um, a lot of people have been asking the Zuni Zuni Masa armor is actually okay as well. Um, I personally like the Tal Rashas better because as an Archon Wizard, you don't really need that much uh, survivability. So the all resistance is okay, but you don't really need a ton of all resistance as an Archon Wizard. Um, so I, I prefer the Tal Rashas for a little bit more damage because, um, of course, you want to kill things before they can kill you. That's kind of the, the principle behind Archon is you want to beam them to death before they can beam you or, or they can kill you. So... Um, you know, it's, you don't need a ton of uh, resistance for Archon, so I prefer the Tal Rashas. Okay, now the necklace, um, again, Tal Rashas uh, Allegiance is really nice because it's got that 6% holy damage on mine. Uh, that adds a lot of DPS for an Archon Wizard. I've got average damage, I've got int, uh, vit, a little bit of vit, and of course for necklace you want to absolutely have tons of crit and tons of crit damage. Those are definitely the two most important stats for, a, for an Archon Wizard. So more crit, more crit damage is always going to be uh, is always going to be the best. So if you can't afford a Tal Rashas, just get a rare necklace and just make sure it has lots of int, lots of crit damage, and lots of crit chance on it. Um, if you can afford average damage, it's great. If not, just make sure to get a ton of ton of those three stats and you should be fine. Gloves, uh, just any rare gloves. Gloves are pretty easy. You just want, again, you want crit damage, you want crit chance. Those are the two most important stats. Uh, a good int roll, and of course some, some uh, vitality and some some uh, some all resistance is always nice. Gloves aren't too expensive, uh, so when you buy gloves, they actually aren't very expensive. So you should be able to get a decent set of gloves for for a good price. And of course, those are just the basic stats there. Uh, for your belt, uh, Witching Hour is definitely pretty much your only option for a belt. You, I mean, rare belts. 
Um, they really don't compare. They don't have that crit damage. They don't have that attack speed. They really don't have uh, nearly as much to offer as the Witching Hour. So sadly, Witching Hours are really expensive. The cheapest int Witching Hours are a couple million on the auction house right now. I'm sure their price, price fluctuates, especially with all the expansion information. They might be a bit more than they usually are, but um, you know this is probably going to be one of your more expensive pieces if you're going with a budget set because you really need to get a, a Witching Hour, and there's really no other option. Everything else is just going to be a huge decrease in, in terms of DPS, so definitely go with the Witching Hour. High attack speed, high crit damage, you know, decent int if you can afford it, some vitality, and if you're really rich, you might even be able to get some all res. Uh, bracers, uh, the bracers are a little bit. Uh, you, I guess you could. You don't need the Lacuni Prowlers for your bracers, but if you want that movement speed, I I definitely get them. Uh, you know, they don't have a ton of ints, but. Uh, it's, you know, you can get a decent amount of ints, they've got attack speed, they've got that six, you know, I've got six percent crit ones, so they're pretty good bracers, um, you might be able to go with rare bracers, um, if you do, you're gonna need to find 12 percent movement speed on some other piece of equipment, but Lacuni is just high, high attack speed, you know, if you can afford it, int, um, and then of course crit is probably just the most important stat on those. Okay, so your rings, you probably want to get one, at least one Zuni pox. You want to get a Zuni pox, so you can get the, the two-piece set for 130 extra int. You can get a really nice, cheap crit damage Zuni pox for, you know, a million or so, in the auction house, or even less. So just as any Zuni pox is fine. Um, you know, if you can afford it, get crit chance and crit damage, um, well, crit chance and average damage, but of course they get a lot more expensive as you start adding more of those stats. Uh, for your other ring, um, Unity is really nice, but you don't need a Unity because you're kind of paying for that life on hit, and you really don't need a life on hit as an Archon Wizard. You just need life steal. Um, so any ring with just good average damage, good ints, uh, good crit damage, good crit chance, you know, any of those combination of stats should be fine. Of course, if you have a tighter budget, you can get rid of the average damage, you can lower the ints, you can kind of mess around with the crit damage and crit chance, but uh, for an Archon Wizard, um, something like that is, is pretty solid for your second ring. Uh, for your pants, you don't need depth diggers. Um, I just got them because they were they were the cheapest option for me. Uh, just any pants with really high ints, really high or decent vitality, two sockets, and some all res, and you should be fine. If you can't afford depth diggers, you could look for rare pants. Um, if you've got a really high budget, you know you can get some really really nice pants with tons of ints and vitality. Um, okay, so the boots, boots you just want the Zuni boots. They're really cheap. Um, if you don't get one with, uh, I believe all resistance, they're really cheap. Um, if you get one with all res, they get a bit more pricey, but they're still not too bad. Uh, so just any Zuni boots, of course, that poison damage is going to be huge DPS increase. Um, so just Zuni boots, and uh, yeah, they also have that movement speed on them as well. Now your offhand, you just want a tri source. Um, you can get a really good tri source for a really cheap price. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a six 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 one. It can be a you know five percent, five percent, six percent, or a five percent, six percent, six percent, or even a five percent, five percent, five percent. That that you know that difference between 1 to 3%, it's it's noticeable, but it's not a huge amount, so don't pay a ton of extra money for a couple of extra uh, stat points there. Just really high average damage, if you can get more ints, that's great. I have a little bit of vitality on mine, but it's really not that important for your tri source. Just get as much damage as you can. They, these are really cheap, you can get really nice tri sources for under a couple hundred thousand. And then finally your weapon, I can't, you can't actually see my weapon because I've got the, uh, the marquee gem in it. But uh, for a weapon, um, you want a black damage weapon so that you get the absolute biggest benefit from your poison damage, uh, from your from your holy damage, from your tall rashas, and of course from your from your tri source. So definitely get a black damage physical weapon. So no elemental modifier for the damage. This is just a minimum maximum physical damage weapon. Um, what you want is you want a socket and you want a life steal and just a really high DPS weapon. If you can afford it. Look for a weapon with more crit damage on it on top of the socket and lifesteal, and if you can also afford it, look for weapons with int on it. If not, you can still get a perfectly fine weapon for, for a very good price with a very solid DPS um, without those modifiers. But, of course, the more you can spend on your weapon, the, you know, the better your weapon's going to be. The higher DPS it'll be, the higher crit damage, higher ints, and um, you know, ultimately just make sure it has that socket for, for crit damage. Make sure it has that, uh, that uh, lifesteal so you, you don't die when you're an Archon. And uh, there you go. So that's pretty much what you're looking for for an Archon. I think this video was a little bit longer than I thought. But um, anyway, um, that's that, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, maybe I'll explain more details in another video later. But this is just a quick, you know, quick overview of what you want to look for for gear. 
Um, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash gaming. And of course, if you also like the video, if you haven't stopped by my uh, Twitch stream, uh, definitely make sure to do that, uh, twitch.tv slash gaming. If you enjoy that, make sure to follow that. And uh, you can check out my Twitter as well, twitter.com slash gaming. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Um, hope you guys learned something, and uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back soon. Have a good one.